everybody, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, I'm Emily. Um, today I'm gonna be doing a light, sort of easy, simple quarantine makeup. Um, nothing too crazy, nothing that I haven't done before, but I just wanted to come on here and just kind of do something fun. And yeah, so we can all play with makeup. If you hear some noise outside, um, they're cutting the lawn, which is pretty annoying, but it is a beautiful day. Um, I'm putting on some makeup because I am going to socially distance myself and walk and I have to go pick up a few things. So I figure let's throw some makeup on. Let's not go out, you know, with no makeup on because some of us haven't put makeup on in what like two months so let's get some makeup let's grab our makeup and yeah let's let's start putting some makeup on but i just wanted to take a moment to say um for anybody affected by what's going on right now you know i just want to send out my condolences and say how sorry i am um for anybody who's sick, anybody who passed away. So just know that my heart is with you guys, okay? So if you hear the TV, I have some Bob Ross on. I love Bob Ross, love him so much. So starting with a clean face, clean, cleansed, washed. I'm just gonna be spraying myself with some Mario Badescu facial spray. Looks like this. It's totally, totally unnecessary. You could just literally, you know, put, slap some water on your face. <laughs> this is, you know, it's just, it's just a nice little pick me up sort of item. You do not have to go out and spend the money on it. It's just rose water. It's got like aloe in it and some herbs, but you don't have to. You could literally probably make it yourself at home or like I said, just put water or just put your moisturizer on. So the next step is to, you don't have to do this, but I'm definitely gonna do this. I put some Visine in my eyes. My mom has this really good one. I don't even know who it's by, but it creates this sort of gel coating over the eye and it's supposed to be amazing for eye drops. So I'm just gonna put, just put some in because I don't know about you guys, but I get such, not red eyes, but the corner gets so itchy. Sorry, the stuff is just dripping. Um, the corner gets really itchy and throughout the day, you know, my eyes will just sort of burn. So I do tend to put that in my eye before I'm putting makeup on. And to be honest, even if I'm not putting makeup on, um, I like to put some eye drops in my eye because um, the pollen is just really, it's been something else. <laughs> so the next step, I believe that this is a very important step. It would be primer. I use from Becca, the first light priming filter, instant complexion refresh. I've spoken about this a couple of times in my videos. It looks like a lilac -y tube and it comes out lilac lilac however you want to pronounce it and you just take a little bit and I put it predominantly where um, I have some pores I have pores in, in my t-zone and I just rub it in where I would get oily throughout the day now the thing about primer is you should let it sit Sorry, that's the Bob Ross music. <laughs> I love him so much. Anyway, let me just lower that. Okay. So I tend to put primer like where I typically would sweat break out. That's where you should be putting and placing your primer. Um, next, I'll use the Renewed Hope in a Jar. It's a skin tint 
tint and it's got some sunscreen in it. So that's kind of like why I'll use this product. It's from Philosophy, it looks like this. The reason why I will use it is because if I am going outside, it has sunscreen in it and also it has some coverage. So you gotta get your sunscreen in. So it looks like this, I have 5.5 beige. Once again, I'll just kind of plop it where I need it. It's kind of like a nice lightweight formula consistency. It's not super heavy. Um, I wouldn't use it if you have like severe uh, problematic skin or if you're if you're like oily. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to use something like this because it does have a very, not, I wouldn't say oily base, but you can tell there's definitely moisture involved in it and it might make you a little oily throughout the day. So I'll take my It Cosmetics like dual ended brush. It's um, the Complexion Perfection and I'll just kind of buff it or you don't even need a brush. Like you could literally just, just kind of, now, once again, this is not, it's not like a, I wouldn't even consider this to be foundation. It's just like a, it's like a BB cream in my opinion. But, you know, on days when you're just like trying to look presentable, but you're not trying to look like you have so much makeup on, you're definitely gonna wanna try out something like a CC cream or a BB cream. If you have a little bit more problematic skin, like acne and you know, you have some spots and some redness, some rosacea, you definitely wanna go with a CC cream. But if, you know, you just have some kind of like discoloration, I would definitely go with a BB cream if you're just trying to go somewhere and you're trying to get something pretty quickly then you're going to want to go with that then i'm going to go by uh i'm going to use this contour stick from absolute new york the sculpt stick it's a two-in-one so you get a contour and a highlight so it looks like this it's dual blended and i have my little contour on this side um the reason why i'm doing a little bit of cream contouring is because it is sort of like a light little makeup, but I do want some definition. You can completely skip this step. I just, I like to just sculpt my face. It's unnecessary. You can just go right in with um, your powder and then bronze. I just wanna get a little bit of some cream sculpting in there. Like I said, it's completely unnecessary. So what have you guys been doing to try to keep busy during this quarantine, during this, during this crazy time right now? Are you guys reading books? What are you doing? Going for walks? I unfortunately, well, it's not really unfortunate, but I do have a job. I am blessed to have a job still. Um, so I've been working like absolute crazy, crazy long, long hours. My sister still lives in New York, where I'm from, and she works on the front line. So I just got a newborn, it's my niece. So that's pretty scary, but she's a, she's a hero. She definitely is. You guys are all heroes if you're working on the front line. Okay, so like I said, that part was just a little unnecessary but I like the way it just kind of makes my face look a little bit more sculpted. Um, next, I'm gonna be going in with this 
it's called Beauty. I don't even know how to pronounce this. BB Beauty? Botanic? Botanic Beauty? I don't even know. Peach Blush. Botanic Beauty. I don't know. It looks like that. It comes in this little jar. It's like a peachy color. And we're just going to take it. Now, the reason why I'm not setting my face with powder is because we have a bunch of creams on right now. So I'm just going to place the blush on now. And plus, I want everything to look more natural. Because we are, you know, going out and we don't want to look like we have so much makeup on. But if you want to just put a bunch of makeup on, you can. I just want to look alive and you know so I love cream blushes for that that fact you know you just you're just popping it on and they look so natural and you can also the benefit I love about it is you can take it just put it right on your lips you can also Put it a little bit i wouldn't recommend to do this if you have a lot of like veins and redness already but if you if you color corrected prior like with your concealer and all of that then it, you see it just makes you look more like alive if you do have rosacea make sure to conceal make sure everything is all concealed Okay, so we've got a little bit of color, a little bit of dimension happening right now. So I'm going to be going in now with concealer, just to conceal a little bit under the eye and a little bit where I need it. But I'm just going to put it only where I would need it, not all over my face. I'm taking from Morphe in C155, looks like that. It's amazing. The consistency is absolutely amazing. And all you really need is just a little. As you can see, I do have dark under eye circles. I used to have really bad, bad dark under eye circles as a, as a, as like a baby, as a child. Um, I still do, but it's not as bad. But I do still suffer from really bad allergies. So, okay, we're just gonna tap this in, make sure to be working with nice, cleansed, clean hands, of course. With the concealer, you can kind of tap and go over that blush if you feel like you might have created it to look a little too red. That's the beauty about makeup, it's like really anything goes, you know? That's why I love it. Make sure to put concealer around your nose, super important. Just for everyday coverage. And also if you suffer like me from allergies and you're constantly like blowing your nose and all of that. So just bring the concealer around the eye, under the eye. Make sure to tap, 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 tap. And then I go a little bit on the forehead. Okay. All right, so we're looking like that so far. Like you can, you can still really see peek through stuff going on with my skin and that's kind of like what we want you know the objective is definitely not to look all covered up but it's to look fresh simple and sort of pretty so now i'm going to be going in with some powder so you guys know i love makeup revolution um in lace and i just put it on into the cap and then I like to work with it that way, just taking like a regular sort of powder brush. And I'm just gonna sweep under the eye. 
all around my T-zone lids, middle of the forehead. Chin. Corner of the nose. Now, if I'm doing like an eye look that requires some protection from the fallout, I will bake under here, but since we're going to be using, we're going to be doing colors, but colors that really aren't going to be too, 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 too much and have fallout. If you hear music, my dad is blasting um, the CD that I just came out with him. We did a, we did a CD together, like a duet standards album together, which is super fun. So if you do hear music, I apologize. Okay, so we're just going a little bit more fine into those areas that we really do want to be set. The album is for free on SoundCloud, if you're wondering. I'm so proud of it. It came out absolutely amazing. Okay, so. So next, we're just gonna go into one of my favorite palettes. It's the Tartlet Toasted Palette. If you don't own this palette, you need this palette because it just has an amazing, amazing selection of coppers and browns and warm tones. Let me open this so you can see. I mean, do you see this? So you can go with something a little bit more neutral or you can go with mid-tones or super, super sexy and dark. So today we're just gonna keep it like really simple. I'm gonna be going in with two colors and that's that. We're going in with flame and warmth. Warmth, we're gonna go in with first into the crease and then flame on the lid and maybe I'll drag it a little bit down. I'm taking the brush that came with that set and I'm gonna be taking the warmth and I'm just gonna be placing that right into my crease. Now, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do your eyes if you're just going walking or getting milk. You know what I mean? This is just something that I'm throwing in because why not? Let's just sit and do makeup and, and relax. It's a beautiful day today. I don't know how it is near you. Let me know. Let me know where you're from and what's the weather like near you. Is it raining? Is it, is it pretty and sunny? Okay. I'd say it's like 65 here and sunny, but the weather where I live is just so, it's so tricky. Like one minute it'll rain, one minute it'll be sun. Okay, so that's on. It's on. Alrighty, next, taking flame, which was kind of that copper color. The reason why I'm showing you this look, because it's just gonna look amazing on every eye color. That color will look amazing on green, brown, blue, honey, amber, you name the eye color. It'll look stunning because it's just this gorgeous, gorgeous copper. Okay, 
so we're just adding that on like I said I'm just putting it on the lid and meeting a little bit into the crease nothing too crazy nothing too crazy and then if you want to put that same color under the eye you can if you think it's a little too much don't do it sometimes I take the brush that we used for the crease and I just take that warmth shade and just kind of like messingly if that's a word just sort of buff it under the eye to kind of create this smoke ow or just brush yourself right on the eye So something like this, like you just want to get color on and make your eye look just nice. Okay. That's really all to the eye that I'll do. I'll maybe put um, some highlighter. So I'll go into the Glow in the City Highlighting Quad Big Apple Cheeks from Absolute New York. Love this stuff. I have a referral code, which I'll link down below in the description bar, and you can get 10% off anything off their site. So I'm gonna take this color right here, and I'm gonna place it on the, the brow bone. And I like it because it's just like a really nice, subtle sort of, it's more of like a satiny, it's like satin. It's not gonna be like in your face sort of brow color you know okay now i'm going to take off that powder <clears throat> yeah filming 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 okay okay i love it how i have i have a sign this is what I'm working with. So I have a sign outside my door. It literally says like, I'm not making this up. It says the princess is in. And that basically means like I'm filming. And it's just funny because it's like, it's on the door and I'll say, you know, dad, I'm filming. Don't come in. If you see that sign, I'm filming. Don't come in. And he'll just sometimes i mean i know you guys see it like in some of these videos he'll just come right in and it's just like don't you see the sign <laughs> anyway we're gonna bronze a little just take a regular fluffy type brush with your favorite bronzer i like to use by l'oreal not L'Oreal, sorry, Laura Geller, her baked in bronzer, and I just kind of like, I just kind of use it to set the creams that we did, because it just lasts a little longer. If you do cream, and then you do some powders, that's what all the stars do. They start with creams, and then they go in with powders. To make, it just makes it last a little longer. Okay, so I'm just kind of like putting this on my face. And I am pale. I do self tan at times, but sometimes I'm just so pale that I don't have the right bronzer match. Like my, my bronzers can sometimes look muddy, so I have to be very careful. So I'll only go in with certain bronzers. I don't know what's going on right there. Okay. Next, like I said, because we put that cream blush on, I'm gonna put cream, I mean powdered blush. So I'm gonna go in with that middle coral color. 
and it just makes everything stay put more. Okay. I'm going back into that glow in the city palette. Gonna take that empire state color and just add it onto the cheekbones it's such a stunning color it just looks like it's your skin and you're glowing from within and it's not like anything too harsh okay gonna take that color and put it in the inner corner cupid's bow to the nose now do you have to do this makeup every day in quarantine no like half the time you know we don't even like want to get out of our beds but the point is you should try and just put a little bit of makeup on during this time you know it just makes you feel so much better it really does even if you just try to do half of the steps that I've done that's even better so we're now we're gonna just set the face with NYX matte finish spray looks like this let that kind of just set, sink in a little. And we're gonna focus on doing some mascara. And then we will finish with some lips. So that's really pretty much like the face. Like I won't do much more than that. Um, like I said, it's up to you if you wanna add um, mascara at this point. You know, a lot of us, we just kind of like we don't want to do mascara but mascara in my opinion I think it just makes the look a little bit more feminine you know it's a little bit more like I don't know just a little bit more put together a little more girly a little bit more like even if you just don't even do the the copper eye and you just do mascara that's sometimes what I'll do too like I said, this is just kind of like us playing around with some makeup, getting our minds off of the craziness that's going on right now in this world. I have family members that are back in New York and it's just I have cousins and oh my god. So it's it, it's been hard. It's definitely been hard. It's It's been tough. It's really been tough on all of us. All of us. Okay, so. I'm not really liking my brow bone the way it came out. So I might take this color called Glisten from the BH palette. And I just might add a little more. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, yes. Love it. I like when the brow bone is just a little bit more. Once again, it's completely up to preference. You know, like you could have stopped 10 steps ago. <laughs> or you could have cut out a step that I did. It's just really about what makes you happy and what looks good on you. And I'm just gonna kind of blend all of it together. And we're gonna focus on some skin. I mean, not some skin, we're gonna focus on some lips now. So lips, I wanted to go with something a little bit more kind of peachy. Page. So I'm taking from Revlon the shade 
peach silk in 704 it's a creme formulation it looks like that you can just kind of swipe it on like I'm doing or you can blot it on but I I love that color so much. You can kind of blot it in if you want to do that. Okay, so you're finished as far as I'm concerned. And what I'll do, you guys know, I'll just kind of like go back in. And just fix my skin. Okay. Oh, I love it. I love it. Love it, I love it. So, do you guys have any video suggestions? Anything that you'd want me to film, to do? Is there like a celebrity makeup that you're obsessing over? TV make anybody? Anybody right now that you like love maybe they're in a movie tv show or maybe you saw a celebrity look or maybe you just you saw a trend and you want me to try it you know don't hesitate i don't bite i swear and don't hesitate to to message me direct message me find me on find me on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. Down below, I have all of my sites listed. Um, so don't hesitate to find me. Don't hesitate to ask me a question, how I do something. You know, let's say like you wanna know how I do something a little bit more in depth and one-on-one. -on -one. Don't be shy. I don't bite, I promise you. I love vampire shows. Vampire Diaries is like my favorite, but I promise I don't bite. I don't bite. <laughs> but anyway, I'd love to hear from you guys. I'd love to know what you want to be done next on this channel. Um, do you like, did you guys like when I did the color series? Do you want me to continue and do like another series, like a like a gemstone series? I've been thinking about doing something like that, like old gemstones. Just let me know down below, because that's how I give you guys what you want to see, you know? But that's that. I love you guys so much, and I hope that you're doing well. And, um... Yeah, I hope that you liked this look. Um, obviously, it's not for everyone. Everyone's not going to wake up and put peach lips on and a coral eyelid, like a bronzy coral eyelid, and just walk out the door. Um, some of us might do half of these steps. But I just wanted to come on here, play with makeup, have fun, because it's beautiful outside. And yeah, I just wanted to make you guys like smile and play with makeup. So this is a little bit of a close up. Once again, it looks like I have a lot of makeup on, but it's still natural looking. Like it's still, and I'm sitting right, right next to a window. So this is natural lighting. This is, this isn't like artificial lighting, this is natural light, how it would look in direct sun. And it's super pretty. And once again, you don't have to do this lip. Like you could do chapstick. You don't have to do this eye. You could just do mascara and be done with it. So I love you guys. And thank you so much for all your continuous support. Once again, I'll link the album down below if you want to hear that. 
also all of my social sites are down below i'd love for you guys to be connected with me and talk to me um i'd love to support your channel you know um i'd love for us all to support each other and subscribe to one another and be all friends with one another that'd be really awesome um so yeah i love you guys and thank you so much and yeah i'll see you guys all in my next video bye